Let's talk about cold weather dressing for the 10 item capsule wardrobe. Hi everyone, welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. My name is Jennifer, if you're new here, and I am in England for uh, part of the winter. And I do the 10 item capsule wardrobe. So today I wanted to talk to you about my thoughts on cold weather dressing. Because you know, I mainly live in California and it's pretty much always hot there. So I have all of my friends who do the capsule 10 item wardrobe all around the world saying, what do you do when it gets really cold? What happens? What do you do? Uh, so I wanted to talk to you about that in today's video and just share my personal experience uh, dressing for cold and wet, you know, rainy weather. So if you have not seen my 10 item wardrobe uh, packing video for going to England, I can leave that link down below and I can put a card up above. But basically I packed for this trip in an even smaller capsule capacity. Obviously I did not bring my entire 10 item wardrobe. We are gone for three weeks. And so I'm totally fine with repeating the same clothes over and over and over again. In fact, I like the challenge of getting creative with how I do my hair, you know, use my accessories to make the looks new. When I posted that video, I had so many people commenting on how I was going to be cold. They would freeze to death in the clothes that I brought. I had so many funny questions and I'm like, what's, why are people so worried about this? Um, so just as an update recap, I have not ever been cold. I've actually been very prepared for everything. Now, something I did not mention in my packing video that I forgot to mention was that I fully intended to have rain boots. I just didn't pack them because I didn't want to. I'm coming to visit family and I actually thought that I'd be able to borrow some <laughs> rain boots because they have so many, but it turns out my mother-in-law just kind of bought us all some rain boots, which was very generous and nice of her. So I do have rain boots that I'm wearing here. If I did not have rain boots, you know, waiting for me here, I would have definitely packed rain boots and I probably would have packed them instead of the black uh, button up boot that I packed. You just have to think, where are you going? If you are going to a hotel and you don't know anybody there, you do have to bring everything you need. But if you're traveling and you're visiting family, chances are if you need a scarf, they're going to have a scarf for you. You know, if you need an extra coat or, um, something like that, an umbrella, they're going to have all of that for you. So that's why I didn't pack absolutely everything I needed because a lot of the things that I needed were already here. So more thoughts. Some people said I would freeze to death in the dresses that I brought because I primarily wear dresses. Well, I wear my dresses with fleece tights and I personally find that fleece tights are warmer than wearing jeans. I do not find jeans to be that warm. When I wear fleece tights, you know, they go all the way up past my belly button, basically all the way down to my toes. And it's this warm fleece material. I feel very warm in this, uh, warmer than I do in jeans and socks. I have not had any trouble being cold. Uh, when I wear a dress, I can layer it with a cardigan and my really thick winter coat and then a scarf. I mean, what more do I need? I didn't even bring gloves. I probably should have brought gloves. Again, I could probably borrow those, but my hands have not been cold. It's not that cold over here, to be honest with you. Um, it is very rainy and very muddy. So the rain boots were extremely necessary. I briefly touched on this in my outfits of the week video, but uh, when you have a 10 item capsule wardrobe, you really do have to think about your extras and what you wanna do with regard to special occasion wear. Now I have the philosophy that you should look presentable always. And because of this, I dress up more so every day of my life rather than just on special occasions. Um, so I'm able to use the dresses that I have and dress them up or down, you know, based on what I'm doing during the day. And I actually find that to be another creative challenge that I really enjoy, but everybody is different. And let's say you are someone who enjoys wearing jeans and a nice sweater every day, and that makes you feel comfortable. Well, when you do have a special occasion, then you can have a dress you know, in your extras for that. It's up to you. You customize your 10 item wardrobe to how you like it. I might go back in the future to um, having maybe a special dress for the holidays that I only wear, you know, on Christmas or to a party that time of year. But so far, just wearing my 10 item wardrobe that I have, my regular core items has been absolutely fine. And I don't think I've been inappropriately dressed for anything really. So another thing that I frequently come across is I get really hot when I'm indoors. So if I bundle up too much, if I just wear all of these um, warm clothing for, for cold weather, 
and I'm outside, then when I go inside, I'm sweltering usually, right? And I discovered this when I was in Paris because when I lived in Paris, it got so cold. I mean, that was a complete shock to me how cold it got. And I had this gigantic coat that was uh, faux fur aligned. And I remember every time I went inside anywhere, I was suddenly going from shivering to perspiring because I was so hot. And so what I do is I dress with layers. So I will always have a cardigan under my coat, for example, then I can take off my coat and have my cardigan on and be totally fine. And I hear my son coming in right now. Here comes the baby. Yes, that's the baby. <laughs> Hi. Uh, <laughs> you wanna say hi? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have limited time before they all need me again. Uh, the other thing I was going to say was I love to observe the women in whatever country I visit. Of course, I love doing that. That's the premise of Lessons from Madame Chic. So I've been observing the English women while I'm here and Here's what I notice about how they tend to dress for cold weather. And I'm in the countryside, I'm not in London, but I noticed that a lot of them wear a parka. So it's like a puffed, um, quilted uh, jacket, usually cinched in the waist, which I think is really nice so that you don't feel like a giant marshmallow, you know? And then they'll wear, um, it has a hood with some faux fur. So many women have this jacket and um, I think it's a great jacket because it keeps them warm, it keeps them dry, you can put the hood up if it rains. And I think it looks really nice, I think it looks really chic. So that's just kind of like a casual look. What I notice about English women's style is that they are very eclectic, and eccentric, and these are both compliments. Um, I've always noticed this about English women. It's it's not so much uniform like it is uh, in Paris, or as I noticed, that Parisian women tend to have a certain formula, a certain classic formula that a lot of them adhere to. Of course, not all of them, but you know, you can see a stereotype of of a striped shirt and a. <laughs> you know, a scarf and that, and you, you immediately think of a Parisian woman, right? Uh, but you don't necessarily see a stereotype of English woman, unless it's like the country tweed or something like that. But I'm talking about just the general style. And so yesterday we went to um, a Santa experience. It was pretty amazing. And uh, the kids were, we were there for like three hours. So I'm observing all the other moms there because I love observing mothers and their style. They are all just very eclectic and they don't seem to have a trouble expressing their true style, even if their true style is a bit um, bold or a bit uh, unconventional is what I'm trying to say. You know, so you'll see, um, you'll see women in beautiful, long, bold print dresses and sort of mismatched things not mismatched in a bad way, but mismatched on purpose, you know? Uh, like yesterday, there was a woman wearing a leopard coat and my son just found me again. <laughs> They're supposed to be watching him. So, um, you know, for example, a woman yesterday was wearing a leopard coat. Hi, I'm right here. Do you want to join me? Okay, he's just gonna join me right now, so. Um, so one of the moms was wearing a leopard coat and she had like a long uh, white, um, I don't know what it was, like a long white uh, caftan. And then underneath that she had overalls. Like it was just a really kind of eclectic look, but she looked great. You know what I mean? And so I always think people think, oh, you know, Jennifer, you're too um, stuffy. You want everyone to dress like you. And that's so not the case. I, I dress the way that I dress. This is my true style, but I love seeing other women express their style. And, uh, she looked great. I thought, you know, I really liked her outfit. There was another woman there who was very chic. Um, there was an older lady who was very traditional. She had like a quilted, uh, quilted vest jacket and a scarf and a sweater and her hair was put together. So it's just, you know, this is what I love about the 10 item wardrobe and just looking presentable always is that we don't all have to look alike. It doesn't have to be a uniform, just express you. Those are my thoughts. Um, so far, I'm very pleased with everything I packed. There's nothing that I packed where I thought, ooh, I shouldn't have packed this. I'm not going to use this. I've actually used everything that I've packed so far, which is really good because 
in the past, I am notorious for packing too much and just being overly cautious. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry for all of the interruptions. I'm not in my usual filming situation, so I'm going to be interrupted a lot this trip. But anyway, the one thing that I wanted to just impart to you with this, you know, 10 item wardrobe, capsule wardrobe dressing for winter is to still encourage you to look presentable always. Don't let the fear of being cold uh, prevent you from dressing stylishly and dressing with your true style. I've had no trouble at all. These are not the coldest circumstances. You might be dealing with snow. In that case, yes, you do have to wear snow clothing and that's that's just what you have to do and it's fine. So uh, that's just my thoughts and everything's gone well so far. I have not frozen to death. Very happy with everything I packed. I'm so pleased with this. And um, I think that the rest of the trip is going to be good. I don't know, I'll keep you updated. Thanks for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur. I would love to know your thoughts on capsule wardrobe dressing for the winter. What do you think about English ladies style? What do you think about it? Are you in England? What is your firsthand perspective or what's your perspective as somebody who has visited the country before? Let us know in the comments down below and your comment could be chosen as comment of the week on The Daily Connoisseur. Thanks everyone and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.